Welcome back to the shop, you guys. Uh, this week we are going to get started on our next build. It is going to be a bamboo back and belly uh, recurved bow again. Uh, I got to tell you guys, I am really loving shooting this particular, uh, I called it a duo flex bow, uh, but I am shooting it thumb, thumb style or with a thumb release and I am just really, really enjoying shooting this bow. Uh, it is strictly bamboo back and belly. Uh, if you joined along for the build on this one, uh, then you know some of the, the uh, tribulations that I encountered doing just bamboo and no core in here. Uh, so uh, I'm wanting to expand a little bit on that build. Uh, if you're interested in seeing it, I'll put a link here uh, in the description and of course a card up here on the screen. But I've also I was also very taken with this particular bow. Uh, one that if you watched me build, it was uh, full of issues. I mean, chock full of issues. And in this build, guys, we're gonna build another recurve bow. Uh, something similar in nature to this one, but it's going to be just bamboo back and bamboo belly like this one. And uh, this is uh, strictly experimental. Uh, glad to have you along for the ride. Let's see where we go with this one. Okay, I have uh, my previous uh, bow project sitting on the table here. Uh, I was my uh, Asian inspired uh, reflexed and recurved bow. Uh, experiment. Uh, if you're interested in watching the videos associated with the build of this, I'll put a card uh, on this part of the video. But what I'm going to do with this experiment, and I've got my parts laid out here, is attempt to make or take the learnings from this particular bow. So if you've already watched or followed along with this build, then you saw that I had all kinds of uh, tribulations with bringing this one to life. And I really want to work to avoid avoid all of that with this build, this build, but also kind of take some of the other learnings with regard to the tillering on this bow, which was also a very complicated task, and see if I can't remove that from this build. In this build, I, I think I'm going to kind of depart from the whole Asian-inspired recurve idea and really kind of concentrate on what would be basically a Scythian type design. So I'm going to uh, to call this a, a Scythian build experiment and so I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this bow for the time being and talk specifically about what we're gonna do with our parts here so I've got a very thick piece of bamboo a thinner piece of bamboo obviously this is gonna be my belly this is gonna be my back I want the thicker side residing on the belly of course I've got a 14 inch uh, what's going to be the riser piece with the belly on here and this being the back so it'll hold like this and for lack of any better way of describing it this is going to be my sias so this is going to be two two pieces and they're going to be about 15 inches long now I've left it as one singular piece because I got to put the tapers on here and it's going to be difficult to operate with two small pieces of, of wood so what i'm going to do is i'm going to taper i'm going to taper off one uh tip taper off the other and then we'll cut it so that we've got our good our thick piece down here that we can then steam bend into recurves uh, without having to worry about how we're going to taper these edges uh out out here all right so these are the parts the bow is going to be 66 inches total in length so 64 knock to knock is the intention uh, another difference with this build as opposed to the prior build is i'm not going to have a core lamination uh, if you look on this bow and hopefully you can see it i have i have a, a belly piece of bamboo i've got a back piece and then there is a core lamination in here and i believe the core was it was either maple or hickory or something um, I am not going to run a core in this particular build. I'm going to run just a belly or a, yeah, a bamboo back, a bamboo belly. They're going to be laminated directly to one another straight out of the grip. 
but right at about mid limb on out to the recurve is going to be our, our piece of Asia here. So there is going to be something of a core, but it's going to reside in the second half of the limb out here, which is going to put in a tremendous amount of strain right in here. It's going to concentrate a lot of the bending in here as well. So it's going to be important that we're wide in our design through here, and then we'll be able to really taper off to very narrow tips, uh, which should aid in the efficiency of this particular bow. Um, we'll see if that plays out because that's nothing I've ever attempted to do. Now, putting tip wedges in on bows is not an unheard of practice. And as a matter of fact, most uh, laminated bo boilers uh, uh, that work with fiberglass will do that just to stiffen the tips such that you can narrow them. And that would be the purpose of that reverse wedge. So I'm basically working with a very long wedge so I can have a stiff, a stiff recurve and then a little stiffer outer limb and really concentrating that bend out here or in here at the grip, which should give us this, this kind of shape, at least when it is strung. Now, I had encouraged this shape when I glued up the last one or when I glued up this particular one in this with this build here, I'm going to allow the limbs to just kind of take, go in their own direction, recurve out in here, uh, and allow the, the tiller that we give the bamboo to kind of give its, its shape in this direction. And then really challenge the materials right in here. Now we'll see if this bow makes it. Um, I, uh, I think I am taking my, my materials list and pushing it really to its outer limit. Uh, but that is the plan. So here are the pieces. We're going to end up with something similar to this, only minus the, the pre-work here. And we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I'm going to uh, turn some attention to forming out the sias here. This is going to be the length of the actual recurved piece of this length. Uh, it's about eight inches long. That's how... That's the distance it's going to take to make it around this recurve is eight inches. So we're going to leave that portion at full thickness, steam and bend that into the form. But this is what we're going to have to have tapered out to a feathered edge to sit in, in between our uh, bamboo laminations. And since it's such a short length, it's actually seven inches, um, I'm going to keep it uh, or I'm going to actually do this by hand, similar to uh, milling out like a uh, power lamb or something along those lines. And so I'm just going to go right here on my uh, sander, my four inch bench top belt sander and run in a, a taper on here down to a, a feathered edge. So I'm going to do that on both ends, cut them off, steam, bend, get everything ready to go and uh, we'll have that piece of this project done. Here are all the components laid out, ready to uh, glue. Everything is milled, ready to go, with the exception of the belly piece. Still needs to be tempered, so uh, we'll work on that uh, before we get to the glue up. 
Uh, if you pay attention to the way this is laid out, you will see that I'm a full inch and a half wide, which is the width of the riser uh, for the grip section. But then I carry that width all the way out to within 15 inches of the tip, which is where this wedge begins for the recurve. So this is where our taper begins right here. You'll notice there's nothing here for uh, any kind of core or anything like that. So this is where we're gonna be straight bamboo to bamboo, which means we're gonna have our greatest amount of strain occurring right there. Uh, so kept the width real wide all the way through uh, to make sure that we've got a good opportunity to achieve our proper tiller uh, on width. And I think that this bow is probably gonna end up looking a lot like a pyramid tiller to get the bending all right. Uh, but this is uh, this is our starting point. So we're gonna go, we're gonna err on the side of safety and go with width. Thickness on my belly piece right now is a 0.24. It's gonna thin out a little bit because I have not yet heat treated it or tempered it, like I said. Uh, again, when you temper a piece of bamboo, it will, it will create a bit of a crown on that glue surface that needs to be ground flat again. So we're gonna lose a little bit of thickness on this. Um, if you want to learn about uh, the way I temper my pieces of bamboo, if you want to learn more about it, I'll put a, a link in the description as well as a card here in the video so you can see how I do that. Uh, from there, uh, the backing strip here is a 0.18 thickness with a, a real good arc of the tiller or arc of the circle tiller. And I spent a lot of time on that tiller. Uh, to get it just right, even on both sides, etc. And I'm going to spend that same amount of time with the belly piece once I've got it tempered and doing the final work with it. Uh, Pre-steamed and heat bent the backing and my tip wedge or, or recurve sias here, uh, that we will glue together first. So we will glue the sias to the to the belly or to the backing strip. And then we'll do the whole glue up with the grip and the back or the belly rather uh, after that. So this is gonna be a two stage glue up uh, similar to the way I did the uh, Asian inspired recurve bow, but this should be easier because there's no core involved. We shall see uh, anyway. That is where we are going to leave off this week. Next week, we will undertake the uh, glue-up process. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions or uh, comments, uh, feel free to drop them in the, the comments section. I know that I kind of breezed through a lot of the uh, production piece of all this, but uh, I believe I've got enough, enough other uh, videos out there to kind of show how we do things like taper out this... Uh, this length on this SIA here, um, as well as how to produce the a uh, riser and tillering your backing strip and tillering your your belly as well as tempering it. All videos that are available, guys, in my library. So check that stuff out. And then uh, next week we'll get on with the glue up. Thanks for joining me this week, and I will talk to you later.